Welcome to Palia, a vibrant new world made just for you. Craft, cook, fish, and farm with friends as you live the life of your dreams and discover an enchanting adventure filled with colorful characters and a mystery to unravel. Yeah, that's a big bird. Holy shit. What is that guy? Hello, weird orb thing. Oh, Jesus. Alright, there's me. There's the character that I created. Don't judge me. My options were kind of... Well, we did the best we could. Hello. Hi. I'm kind of cute in a weird nerdy way. Oh my dragon. Did, did you just materialize from nowhere? I have no idea. Uh, let's see here. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. Wow, I mean, I heard humans had starting appearing, had starting appearing out of nowhere in sacred sites around Palia. But I didn't know that meant and appearing literally out of nowhere. Sorry, that's all I've got. Right. We'll talk about all that later once you're settled in. We should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper. He's been helping others like you get settled. What's this? This is like a relationship? Gina seems nervous about getting to know you. There's like a heart here. I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here, and I'm this close to figuring it out. <laughs> I was so caught off guard, I realized I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. The name's Gina. I'm an apprentice scholar researching these old runes. This here is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. Gotta get back to the grind. Oh, jeez, it's late. Oh, Time flies with you around. Oh, jeez. Navigate the world using WSAD. Okay. Forward, left, use your keyboard. All right, don't show me tutorials. We're fine. Look around with your mouse. Okay, moving the mouse will change the direction. Understood. All right, very, very kind of beginner-y friendly here for gamers. Find Ashura and Kilimo. Look at this big guy. What's up, Hecla? Do you require assistance? Human, I know you must have many questions about your spontaneous emergence. Your presence heralds much change in the worlds of Palia. What, what am I? You are a human being, an ancient thing this world has not seen in many rotations around the sun. Beyond that, you still have, you shall have to answer the question of what you are for yourself, as do we all. Conversation has ceased. Okay, have a good day. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Some obstacles can be jumped by pressing space. Shift to uh, run. Some obstacles can be climbed by moving them up with double W. Uh, provide. Okay, let's go. I did it. Okay. There we go. So we have a stamina bar there when we get up. Good movement. Who the hell? I think this is another player, by the way. So you are playing like an MMO kind of thing here. A little jittery, but it's fine. A whole new world. What's up, seagulls? I don't think seagulls fly in groups like that. They kind of circle around each other all weird and hate each other. Palia. All right. All right. This seems like a pretty cozy kind of feeling game. Pretty cozy. Let's go down this way. Important objectives like quests are tracked on your compass. So we have it up here. Items outside the compass are behind you. Rotate your camera with the mouse to change your field of view. Press M to open the map screen. The map screen shows additional points of interest. It keeps track of villager movement. At your own marker by pressing middle mouse button. This can be seen by your party on the map. All right, so here's the map we got. And it looks like we're going to Ashura here. Here's the kind of the map. We got Mayor's Estate and Kilma Village and Gillifin, Leafhopper, Whispering Banks. Quite a bit going on here. So we're going to go to Ashura here. Oh, I don't know what I pushed. All right. C is this button. Uh, it looks like inventory, map, quests. We got community, relationships, and accomplishments. All right. Here we got news. If you want to... We got a... Oh, we got a gift. We've sent you a gift. Please find it in close. Thanks for playing Palia. 
Alright. I will claim this. What is this? It's like a frog. One, plus one giga frogbert plush. I'll keep in mind that this game is free. And you can get it on Steam. Uh, also, be cautious that it's free. You know? How are they making their money? You know? Just... I'm sure it's, it's fine. Let's hit number one. What does number one do? Is that, can I jump higher? I don't really know what that does. All right. Let's keep going. Gornak, what's going on? Let's find this guy. Sure. Hi there. It's always good to see a new face in the village. Welcome to Kilima. I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. I'm Ashura, the innkeeper at the Ormu's Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. But we do have some old plots where you could build yourself a tent. What do you say? You want to take it... You want to take in the great outdoors. I like sleeping under the stars. Yeah, that's fine. The night sky here is beautiful. I'm sure you'll love it. So let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. I've got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hoderi, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. Why don't we head on over so you can meet him? Okay, we got a makeshift axe here. He's safe. And we're going to go meet uh, the new dude. Looks like th something's loading in here. We have emotes that we can use. I'm not really big on emotes, unless I can give Sergeant Kelvin the finger, but whatever. Okay. Why are you walking like that? You okay, dude? You gotta take a shit? Like, what's happening here? Uh-oh. This is a shit. We need to fix this up. Holy hell. There you go. I want to be that guy. How do I be that guy? What's up, dude? Oh, Derry. Oh, Derry. Yeah. Hmm. Coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh, hi. Yeah. Oderi Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do for you? Here, sent me for a pickaxe. You can tell me how you got those biceps in the right place. Hi, I'm Floppy. Floppy, huh? Interesting. I assume Asura sent you over. Been sending a lot of new folk my way lately. Hmm. What? The <laughs> whole reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites. Don't need you all buried in the muds. In fact, this one's about ready for use if you want it. Just needs a bit more work. I see you've got an axe already. Here, take this pick, too. Always good to have the right tool for the right job. Use them both to clear this debris, would you? Mining's hungry work, so you better take this, too. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but she'll get more use out of it. Anyways. Tools and gathering. Press and hold R to open the tool wheel. Highlight a tool and release R to equip it. Try gathering stone from the nearby rock debris. Press and hold left to start the... Using the equipped weapon, press and hold R to switch to another tool. Try gathering wood from the nearby wood debris. Press F to gather the items you have created. All right. So R, we'll get the pickaxe. Start banging. Ugh. All right. Press F, we'll loot that. Let's get the axe out here. Good animations. I like it. Feels pretty good. Pretty smooth. I guess that doesn't count as debris. It's just an actual tree. Okay. What did I hear over there? What is that? A m mountain mo moral. Okay, it's a mushroom. Let's talk to this yeah. dude again. Still lots to do, but it's a start. Found this weird thing. Huh. Found a lot of strange things in the mines, but not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. It's your plot, after all. We've got other plots to inspect, but there should be space to drop this work table down. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Bye. Sure. A storage solution and a work table. All right. Select the workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. Press left to enter placement mode. Okay. Plus... Sorry, press left click to enter placement mode. Okay. Rotate the station using Q and E. Press left. Okay. Understood. Uh, on the right, we have craft a wooden storage chest. Place your storage chest. And place your work table. All right. Can I just knock some more shit out first before we get started? Maybe I should do that. Do I have energy or anything? I don't know if I can just, like, clear shit out nonstop. Gather this stuff. 
trees and shit. I assume we can eventually plant more stuff. Alright. There we go. Looks like wood there. I don't know. Maybe I gotta get rid of the tree first. Clear out an area here first so we can build. I like the I like the location. Kinda naturey feeling. So a mountain moral. Your action bar is full. You can scroll to action bar number two using mouse wheel. Use the pips to keep track of which action bar is displayed. The pips. Oh, right here. Okay. The items in your action bar are outlined in your inventory. Place items in you can use or consume on your action bar for ready access. All right. So we have two here. Doot, 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 doot. So number one, I don't know. Oh my god! Holy hell. Let's have this guy greet people. <laughs> I want to put him in the back corner. Holy shit, that's the gift that we got. Uh, where the hell's my axe? Oh, I, never mind. That's different than the items. Gotcha. Here, let, me, let me clear this out. I'm going to put the big frog dude over here. Yeah, I wonder if we could move stuff. I think it's said we could cancel stuff. I don't know about moving stuff around, though. So number one, click the button. <laughs> Something's in the way. Holy shit. We've got a big old frog. All right, man. Let me just craft it or uh, build a... Or um, clear out a few more things here. Get rid of this. Okay. I kind of like this so far. It's pretty fun. I think it plays on different devices, too. And you can link your account between things. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just... It looks like a video that I, it would be sponsored, but it's not sponsored. I just thought I'd play it. Let me crush this. Okay. I think we're doing good. What's my dude have to sleep or what? I gotta place my work table. And we still need that storage as well. Okay, we'll get rid of this. And we'll pick this up. One more back here. Like a forest behind us. Okay, good. Let me pick that up. And we just have some trees here to clear out. I won't do all of these, but one's in the middle. And this is looking good. Looking good, baby. It's like a kind of a birch kind of tree. Or, um, what are the ones that look like birch trees? Is it elm? I can't remember. There's another white one. Okay. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Let me get this out of the way. I right, kind of got this centerpiece all cleared out. Looks good. Uh, so let me find number seven. Place this. Is there a work table? I don't know. Just kind of place it here for now because I don't know where. Oh wow, that's not straight at all. How do you pick it back up? Holy shit, I pushed H. Okay, so we have a top down thing. Hey, check this out. Rights can be purchased. So you can buy all of these plant uh, plots of land. Look at this. You can expand a lot. Yeesh. Okay. Alright. So I have number two, three. All right, let's do some crafting stuff here. Craft item. Makeshift tent. These ingredients are required. Looks like I already have some. A wooden storage chest. Let me make my chest first. Yeah, baby, get to it. So, sorry, my, my tent for... Wow! Okay, that's bigger than I thought. Okay, holy shit. Coming together. Nice, okay. <laughs> I actually like this. Okay, let's do a, 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 a whatever. What is it called? The, the storage chest. Let me get that. A simple general storage chest made of wood. Stores 400 items. Place up to eight general storage chests on your plot. Who the hell is this? The hell? Get off my land! Okay. Guess I'll put maybe this back here for now. A storage solution quest completed. Talk to Ani when he, he visits your plot. He? Okay. I thought that was a young lady. Um, 
how do I put things in here? Inventory. Uh, what am I looking at right now? Inventory. Oh, okay. I didn't know where the hell the storage was. It's just right here. Okay. I was looking for like blocks and stuff. Plant fiber. We got this. Uh, what is this? A grilled mushroom. Okay. And a mountain moral. A common mushroom. Mountain morals can be found right at home. Super popular, raw or cooked. And we got this one here. Plus 50 focus points. Neat. Okay, we come talk to. Are you off Ani. on an adventure? Okay, yep, I see it now. Yep, okay. Who? good, you haven't left yet. My mom, Dalala, told me there was another new human in town. And here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Fresh dairy from the Daya family farm. Welcome to Kilima. All right. And I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Ani, and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day. Rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. Uh, looks can be deceiving. I love getting mail. Sure, fuck mm -hmm. it. Good. Then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. <laughs> See ya. Later. So, oh, it's... What is this? <laughs> sales bin. Coin purse running flat. Place items in the sales bin. They'll be sold soon. Oh, okay, this is like a uh, Stardew Valley thing. Items are picked up for sale each morning and evening. You get paid when you return home. Out on the town, shops will buy the same sort of items as they sell, as long as it's business hours. Zeke's General Store deals in the widest variety of things. Understood. Okay. Open mailbox. Dear Floppy, I've been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Enar, and I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Please take this rod into your possession. Hey, I'm not falling for that again, guy. And seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. To whom it may concern, City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You'll find a bow and set of arrows to the attached package. Okay, City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use during work hours. You can find me in Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. All right, so we get a bow. We get some makeshift arrows, and we get the recipe to make the arrows. I shall claim you, and you are mine. And we also have the fishing rod here. Ah, good. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Okay, return to Ani, okay? It's a good day to be exploring. So how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I have ever seemed to find are rocks. Well, I found this strange artifact. Wow, what does it do? No idea. Hmm, I bet Gina might know. It's always hanging out in the runes. You should see if she's found uh, found something like this before. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. In all the excitement, I brought a present for you, too. A Bug Scout's official belt. And a set of smoke bombs, too. I'm a member of Gilma's best and only bug catching club. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru. To learn how to grow food, and Rath, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. Okay, let's go. Gotta run. Mom's calling. Okay, dude. Bye. Later. See it. Leave your housing plot. How do I do that? Okay, let's check the map. What do you mean no maps available? Okay, so we have quite a few things on us now. All right, I got the... Well, we have the axe. We have the pick. We have the bow now. We have the fishing rod. So R... Equip the bow and hold left to draw an arrow. Remember to arc the arrows to hit further objects. Creatures will flee if you miss an uh, uh, or are unable to fell them in a single hit. Chasing creatures is an integral part of hunting. At higher hunting levels, you will be able to choose from more powerful arrows. Press right to open the ammo bag. Click your preferred ammo to select. Okay. Huntable creatures drop valuable materials for crafting. All players that help bring down game will receive loot. So here you can select by where I click, and then you can shoot with this. Okay, cool. Oh my god, look at that guy. He's kind of amazing. We also have fishing. Hold down left to aim your cast. Release the cast. Wait for 
a big bite before you see a large splash the fish will nibble three times on the fourth press and hold left to start reeling in okay control the brackets by moving left and right only reel in when the fish is inside the brackets when the fish is outside the brackets it will damage your rod health only hold left when the brackets are green understood pretty simple game so far visit other plots i don't know if i'm supposed it just has to leave the housing plot what's this all right i guess we're leaving let's load something baby so far so good i like it pretty uh chill fun little game got some crafting going on do a little hunting which is nice a little fishing the building is interesting lots of huge ass things we can put down welcome from the developer uh, we're so happy welcome you blah 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 great uh blah 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 okay oh there's a dude here uh ask gina about the strange artifact we will also want to talk to bad root to learn how to garden holy shit look at the outfit on this guy damn he's got a little pet talk to wreath to learn how to cook all right holy shit look at the world a whole new world damn okay this is pretty cool looking i like it let's hit uh m so it looks like everybody's kind of down in the town here there's a fishing lagoon guy you go to uh right here we have Hassan, Badru, Wreath. So these all do different things. So Ani and, uh, and Gina, they're like moving around, eh? They're actively moving around the map. That's interesting. You have to track them down. So I guess we'll go... Let's start here, I guess. We'll just go to the right and we'll head into town. And jump. Okay. Right, there's some interesting things I'm seeing here. Do I have the ability to mine this? What is this? What the, the hell? I've done been bamboozled. The hell was that about? Okay, so we're looking for. Where's the first person? Gina's right up here. You can ask about the artifact. There's like a town hall or, or like a town center. I mean. Here we go. That's kind of cool how they just move around like this. Yes, so much to learn. Hey, Flavi, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in all right? Actually, I found something you might be interested in. <sighs> really, what is it? Oh, wow, I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient flow battery. These were the power sources for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. Huh? And you say you just found this under some old junk. I guess I'm just lucky. <laughs> well, this is certainly my lucky day. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what it, this does. I'll send you a letter once I know something. Okay, cool. Huh. Can I eat today? Holy hell. Oh, they're all coming around. Right. <laughs> I was going to get my ass beat or something. Getting surrounded real quick there. We have a general store. We have the furniture store. We have a city hall. We have the repair station here. Okay, cool. There's a central stables. Uh, Leafhopper Hills. We got family farm up here. Interesting. I like it. I like it. So the building we want to go to is in here. We can see the compass too. So this is Rep. Interesting, nice area, nice building. Okay. Let's so chat. much to do, so little time. Oh hey, you're one of the newbies, right? Whoa. Name's Reth, but you can call me Trouble. In addition to being bad news, I also provide Kilma with delicious soups and stews over at Ormu's Horn. Okay. Ah. Stop by later, yeah. Always happy to chat with a friendly new face. Can you teach me to cook? Whoa, there. You gotta learn to walk before you can swim. Unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure you're a human. Why don't you start out by making campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ, we'll get you started on the complicated stuff. Okay. Is that it? You can find cookbooks kind... You can find cookbooks kind of all over. Some are in the library. But most are just lying around for reasons I frankly can't start to comprehend. Stop by again soon. All right. We want to talk to Badru as well. Where's Badru? Badru, Badru, Badru. Badru's up here. So out to the right. Ert. And then straight for a while. Okay. Very cool. I like the world. All right. There's like a little walkway up there. Can we read these? 
Oh, I can I can ping things. <gasps> Wait, can I shoot this guy? Wait, what? No, come back. Oh, I did it. Holy shit. I got Cernak hide, Cernak antlers, and Cernak meat. Hell yeah. What the hell is that? Something. Was that like a groundhog or some shit? I'm going the right way. Okay, so battery moves around too. There's some interesting items I want to go collect. <laughs> I like how they freak out. Run away. Right, let's get up here. We're murdering some guys like farm animals. Where's the entrance to this place? Oh, wow. What's up, big guy? Look at you. Interesting. Come back over here. Look at the pumpkins. All right. Am I stupid? Where's the door? Yes, Floppy. Yes, you are. Hello. There he is. What brings you around here? Well, if it isn't another friend I haven't met yet. I'm Badru, the farmer, and I sense we have some good times ahead. Oh god, he spelt it like the herb. Uh? Did I mention in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy. Can you teach me to garden? Uh. You come to the right place if you care it about fresh quality produce. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. <laughs> Just kidding around. Farm life's great, especially if you love the smell of Ormu manure in the morning. I'll admit, it's a bit of an acquired taste. Wait, what do you mean, taste? Tell you what, meet me on your plot later, and I'll walk you through the steps. Looks like you're ready to swing by Kenley. He's our mayor, so he'll get you set up with a new house. Looking forward to our next roundup. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what's going on? Uh, name's Floppy. Okay. Uh, who's this? Nao. We have Ani here as well, which actually, where are they? Somewhere near. Oh, right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect you. You're here. Awesome. You got your belt and your smoke bombs, right? Before we get started, you got to take the bug scouts out. Oath. Sorry. Just repeat after me. What's happening over here? What is going on over here? I promise to honor nature and all its creatures, to always lend others a helping hand, and most importantly, tell Ani if you see anything really cool. I promise. Awesome. Hmm, why don't you go try to catch something easy to start? Remember, though, certain bugs will only come out at certain times. <laughs> See ya. Okay. You okay? You all right? You fine? Okay. Okay, we can get out of here. There's a well. Can I drink it? No. Uh. Okay, let's see what we want to do or go to. We need to go see Henley. Is that it? Uh, talk to Kenley about getting a house. That sounds good. Right here. So we gotta go all the way back down to the town. Eat. I think we can climb too, right? That was actually kind of sick. Alright. Do I take damage? Nope, we just roll that shit off. Alright. What about swimming? We're gonna learn today. Oh, shit. <clears throat> okay, so we can't do that. Movement's pretty cool, though. I like it. All right, so we're going to go up to... Oh, I can't get over that. I'm going to go to Kenley. Uh, there we are. Oh, look at you. Let's have a proper chance. It's always the same character, isn't it, for the mayor? Greetings. I'm the Honorable Kenley Bahari. The firstborn son of the late Ken Jan Bahari. The 118th Duke of the Bahari Province. Oh. Brother to Kanyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari Province. I am mayor of this fine village, and it is a great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. I want to ask about getting a house. A house? And you're, uh, you're asking me? Well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? I want to build my own. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, yes, of course, because you have just moved in. Uh, the uh, plot didn't come with one. No matter. I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Oh no, where is it? Hmm. I shall tell you what, go find Tish, a resident carpenter. I'm sure she'll be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture. While I locate those 
for forms. Could you? I said farms. Why do I keep hearing people stomping around? Okay, so we gotta talk to Tish. Okay, what is this place? I like this. All right. Who the hell are you? Is that a player or Jesus? The things you could do to. Okay, let's uh get back on track here. We got Tish over here at the other building that we've been at before, I think. Hello, Tish. There we go. Welcome to the valley. Well, hello there. Not bad, not bad. Welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. You new in town and just passing through. Uh, I just materialized from a void. Mm -hmm. Wow, that sure sounds tough. When my brother and I first moved in, it took us a little while to a little time to adjust. We were just coming from one town over, not another plane of existence. Oh. If you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. Henley sent me. Yes. I'm so glad you're going to live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when I realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture. Oh. So here's some simple recipes for you to start with. If you're tired from all your hard work, why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? My friend Jell insisted you have a wardrobe. Uh, he's a tailor and always saying, says looking your best makes you feel your best. Oh. Even if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. <clears throat> All right, we're unlocking a lot of stuff here. Doodle. Okay, six things. Never mind. <laughs> there's going to be more. Uh, place a chair, place a table, place a wardrobe. Uh, so is there like a quick, can I like quick transfer back to my plot or how does that work? There's a J button down there. No, that's I. So we have this. We have the makeshift belt. We have skill levels down here, okay? Oh, wait, that's cool. It shows you the person you have to talk to as well. That's cool. Okay, so furniture. Uh, what's this one? Foraging, bug catching, and hunting. Uh, accessories, romance pin, fishing attachment, bobber, glider. Uh, that's cool. We have a glider. Items. Well, here we have sell items at shipping bin on your plot at registers in the village to earn gold. Caps at 300,000 gold. Earn renown for leveling up, developing relationships with villagers, blah, blah, blah. Pally points. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Hassian. Quest objective. We have the fishing dude as well. Maybe we should go see that guy. Why isn't he, is like, marked? Can I mark that? I'm going to move the pin. Let's go do a little fishing before we uh, head back. We've got a few things going on at once here. I like these uh, kind of questy games. I find them pretty relaxing. And uh, especially when it's a kind of a cool looking world like this. All right. A sun drop lily. I will pick you and ruin you. You are mine now. Never to grow again. I don't understand these. Last one disappeared on me. Okay. Okay, let's loot that. What do we get? Stone, large shiny pebble, and copper ore. So they have these boards everywhere, too, so I assume they're like... Wait, I thought they were going to be like a quest board, but... Maybe not. Uh, where's the dude at? Got all the fishing stuff and the bobbers. Uh, no, thank you. Holy shit, I didn't even see him there. What are you? NR, what's going on? Greetings. Hello. You seem to be another new person. Let's say I've previously made your acquaintance, in which case, my apologies for forgetting you. I am often too distracted by my oneness to take notice of such things as meeting new people. There seem to be so many new people lately. What is the oneness? No. Silly human, the oneness is merely the oneness. The oneness cannot be learned by listening to the sound of air as it moves through your face flaps and must be experienced. For me, that experience usually involves much fishing. I got your letter. You must have received my communications regarding the beloved pastime of fishing. I understand it is customary for 
tutelage to require work that one does from home. I know there is a word for it, but I cannot quite recall what it is. Here, why don't you give that fishing rod on your person a try? She'll be here in case you accidentally fall in. You are done with your face flapping, and yet you are still here. Face flapping. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Alright. We be fishing. What's up, uh... Oh. This is supposed to be a big one. What's up, Mojito? How you doing? Okay. So we keep it in the thing. Once it goes outside, we do not... Oh, I see. We can turn it like this. Okay. Dude, you're my way. Hell yeah! Perfect catch! A ghillie fin. Fuck yeah, okay. Let's, let's do it one more time. I like this little system. It's cool. Alright, let's wait. Do, 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 do. Come on. There we go. We gotta follow it. Follow. Follow. Ah! Yeah! Yeah. I got another ghillie fin. Okay, cool. A couple fish. Neat. Alright, what's next on the list? Place a chair, place a table, wardrobe. Collect, collect common blue butterfly. Uh. Wait, where, where was the... How do I catch that? Do I have like a net or something? Meet Bondrew at your plot. Let's see where we're at here. So we can go this way. Our plot is up here. I guess this is where we want to go. What's this? To Bahari Bay. I kind of want to check that out. Oh, return to housing plot. Yes, I was wondering if that button exists. Yeah, Floppy, it's the big yellow button in your goddamn face. Okay, okay. I found it. Thanks for waiting. You'll be home soon. Okay. I just put in the lockbox. won't ever be pulled out for cooking or crafting. All right. Why not say hello to a friend? Drop in on a friend while they're home by interacting with this signboard. Understood. Here's Badru. Well, howdy, Sproutling. Good to see you again, Spring Bean. This place is already starting to look different. I figured you'd still be working on setting up that tent. That's some work ethic. Work ethic's my middle name. Ah. I can tell the magistrate's going to like you, Floppy. Once, you, once she gets to know you, that is, she's a tad bit prickly with the new folks. I bet you've been working up an appetite from all that chopping and mining. Well, if you got patience, I've got the solution to your woes. Gardening! All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and voila! Dinner. Or breakfast. Even lunch. If the mood strikes you. Uh. I know, I know it doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. I've got all the tools you need right here, too. Go on. Why don't you drop this plot down and give it a good till? Thanks for stopping by. Make sure your garden plot is on your action bar and select it by pressing Q or E. Aim where the garden plot should be placed and press left to make the final placement. Once your plot is down, press and hold R and select the hoe from the tool wheel till the ground with the hoe by pressing and holding left. Place seeds on your action bar and select them with Q or E. Left to place. Press left again while aiming. Okay, pretty easy. Crops need to be watered each day. The water in the drop indicator lets you know when they're thirsty. I wonder if it rains. Many crops can only be harvested once, and so the cycle begins again. When crops are ready to be harvested, simply press F to harvest it. Okay, let's get it done. So, plot number three. Enter placement mode. So where do we want to put the farm here? I guess I can place it... Uh, should probably actually clear some more stuff out. I know it's... Here, it's not going to take too long. Let me just clear this out. I'll put the farm maybe over here. make some area for it. There we go. Pick you up, pick you up. Well, I like that big tree there to the right, the white one. Okay. R. My fence broke or is this just... Oh, wait. What is this? I wonder if I can fish in this little thing. Probably don't get much. Cool, cool, cool. So number three. In place. I'll put you like right here. Okay, number four. I guess we want them connected. 
All right, cool. So now we want to hit R and hit, hit the uh, the hoe. Who's a hoe? Wait, what? Hey, shit, look. I found something. How do I pick that up? Is there no grid to this or like what's going on? How do I pick that up? Oh, I can move backwards, I see, while I do it. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. You gotta get a bunch of the area for it to pop up. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Very cool, I like that. So this one's not popped up yet, that's why I can't pick it up. I actually like this. Okay, there we go, my first stealing discovery. Plus five renown, okay, cool. Oh, you can just keep walking around, I see. You can go forward too, okay. Get this. There you go. go. That one's almost done. Got another item here. The plant fiber. Alright, let me get these plots done. I don't even know. Did he give us seeds? Oh, I found carrot seed off that. There we go. We're on the last row here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, neat. Okay. Uh, return to Badru. Okay. How are your crops doing? You might be wondering what to do next. Unfortunately, seeds don't plant water themselves. Ah. I need some of these bad boys. Consider them a host warming gift. All right. Once your seeds are in the ground, go to that pond and fill up the watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. It might take a few sun cycles and a few buckets of water, but trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Some things you plant might have an effect on the seeds around it. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. Wait, what? For example, carrots and errants keep weeds from growing next to them. Okay. If you find yourself needing more seeds, you can pick them up at Zucky's. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. That would have been funnier if I'd given you wheat seeds. Hmm, I gotta work on my material. We got a makeshift watering can. Okay, I didn't see what else Happy there was. Trails. So we want to put some seeds down, baby. So let me see what I got. I got some carrots. Okay. We want to place these. Okay. Okay, and then number four, we have some onion. Okay, was that it? I don't know if I have more. I think that's just about it. What's number three? What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, let's get the watering can out. And we gotta fill this up. Refill watering cans from the nearby pool. Can press and hold right click when near a valid water source. Press and hold R and select the watering can left to start pouring. Your crops will never wither. Progress is only paused until they are watered. Okay. Alright, we got some water. Very cool. So I wonder if you can do like a Stardew thing where you get like a better, a better watering tool. Oh, I see. So you could like just keep walking, by the way, too. Just like the hoe, you could just do this. All right, cool. Let me fill this back up again. Okay, good. Hello, you are mine. All right, let me come back. Okay. R. Let me craft maybe see where the table is. So, I got a campfire. 
Should probably do that, actually. That'd be the first thing that makes sense. All right, cool. Let me see where that's at. Number one. Got a placeable. Let's put you right out front here. The hell is that? Okay, so grill. Grilled mushrooms. Use quality ingredients. Much in these mushrooms grilled over campfire. These ingredients are required to start. You can request an item. Okay, so other people could probably give it to you. All right, let me see. Uh, uh, dining table. I need more wood. Let's get some more wood. Thought I saw somebody out here. All right, let's cut down these. All right, cool. All right. Floppy likes that wood, baby. So that should be enough for the table. Probably gonna need more for the chairs and stuff, right? Uh, wardrobe and the chair. Let's get the dining table and craft. Very cool. What should I learn to make? Wait, what? Uh, what's? I don't know what these are. What the hell is that? It looks like a fake deer. Log cabin log carrier. Oh, okay, that's actually kind of cool. So number four, we got the table here in place mode. And I'll put you right in the middle of my cabin. Or, well, my tent. And now I need to get... Uh, what kind of chair? It doesn't matter. Any kind of chair? I have a dining chair and there was a log cabin stool. Let's get the dining chair. Um, I need 15 wood. We should probably have at least two chairs, even though I'm a loser. That lives by himself. Uh, yeah. Foraging is now level two. Okay, we got some renown for that. Oh, I can't get that. Get off my fence! There we go. Yeah, this is a mix of like Stardew Valley, a little bit of like, I don't know. You got your plots in your land, kind of like a, a bit of a, maybe an Animal Crossing thing to a slight degree. Not as cartoony-ish, you know. It's definitely for more chill people that like the chill experience. I like the questing a little bit. And uh, I think it's going to get more interesting. We're still kind of in the beginner stage of the game, right? So I don't, uh, we have accomplishments. Again, this is free. And you don't feel obligated to give these folks any money if you if you don't want to or you can't. It seems like a great game to just kind of relax and have fun in. Okay, so let's go make a dining chair. I shall make you. I don't know what these are. Let's go for the bed. Log cabin bed. Sounds good. Okay, we got the chair, number five. Put you like on an angle here or something. There, looks cool. I like that. Now the next thing is we needed the wardrobe. Probably need more wood for that, right? Ah, we're close. We need some more. Uh, keep in mind you can play with your friends as well. You want to co-op. And if you look at the Steam page, there's some actually pretty, pretty some pretty amazing uh, homes that you can build and buildings. So, I just love crafting and building and hanging out with friends and stuff, or have an easy little crafting game. This seems like a great choice. I know I'm not getting wood wood off this. Am I getting wood? Sap wood. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting some. All these down. All right, cool. Let me make that wardrobe. Uh, tuck your clothes safely away in this wardrobe, which unfortunately isn't a walk in one, unless. Wait, can you get a magical thing going on? I'm gonna get some nerdy shit. All right, next up, what is this? 
cool little gate. I don't know what they are. I'm fascinated by whatever this is. Log cabin planter. Oh, okay. Number five. Let's place this somewhere. Alright, cool. I think there was also the bed that we unlocked, right? Oh, there's the mayor. Wooden storage chest. I don't think we ever made that, did we? We need some more wood for that. Did we make this? Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Let me open this up. I probably had some wood in there. How much wood do we need for the for the bed? Log cabin bed. Oh, you need a bunch of stuff. I need fur and carpet moss and stuff. So that's cool. It gets more interesting, at least. Uh, smoke bombs. All right, cool. See what Kenley wants. Have you seen my hat? Wonderful oh, news. I found the forms head. under the bookshelf in the records room. They're only a little crumpled, too. Mm. You can just sign here, here, and here. I'll be able to get you that blueprint. Oh. Yes, and here, too. Oh, and here. There we have it. And I even remembered to bring the blueprints with me. These are now yours, Floppy. Mm. I suggest you plop the frame down as soon as possible and get building. Now, if you'll excuse me, we believe it's time for my break. And don't tell Eshe you saw me. Okay, so what do we get here? Harvest. Place the foundation for your house. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know where that is. Uh, that one I'm not sure about. What is this? Nope. Uh, place the foundation. I don't really know. We have this view. Okay. How do I get the foundation? Uh, do I craft it? I don't know. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Log cabin. Is there more information somewhere that I'm missing? It's got to be a blueprint somewhere that I can access, right? Oh, H. What's that? Oh, that's the... That's where I was before. Harvest house. There it is. So these are your blueprints. Holy sh... Can I not... How do I get rid of the tent? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Did that move everything inside it too? Oh my god. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's try this again. This, and then the house. Add resources to your building to complete the construction. We need sapwood planks. And we need stone bricks. And then you're off and you're building your house. Holy shit, this is kinda this is kinda cool. Not gonna lie, I, I like this. I like this. Okay, you need stone bricks. I don't know. I just have rocks, I think, right? Flint and stone. So if I go to upgrade, I don't think that counts, does it? You don't have this item in your inventory. You don't have this item. Sapwood plank. Oh, planks. So we'd have to build... Oh, we got Tish here. What's up, Tish? Mm, what to make? Oh, good. You're still here. Oh, hi. Kenley mentioned he found the blueprint for your house, so I thought I'd stop by to give you some other helpful hints. If you want to finish your house, you'll need to stone bricks and sapwood planks to get comfortable with wood cutting and mining. You've met our innkeeper, Ashura, right? He can teach you to make a sawmill for those planks. And Hadari sells a stone smelter need for the bricks. He's not in the village Shekbahari Bay in the east where he lives. I'm so happy to hear you've decided to make Tilama your home. I'll have to stop by again soon with some housewarming gifts. See ya. Alright folks, I'm going to leave this here. I think you got a good taste of what you can do. We got some farming, which we have to do every day. We got to water those, by the way. Uh, we've got a little tent here, temporary tent. We got our frog, which was a gift from the game developers. Uh, we put our first house down. Uh, which we need to get to learn how to do some mining and some carpentry stuff with the planks and we can start upgrading and building that and then you can do all of the cool things around the map this is my area and then uh, you can take quests and do different things for me i think this is pretty fun I, I haven't seen any negatives there are some negative reviews on steam but you know steam just being steam you know oh i got some mail here too all right folks i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new and leave a like it means a lot I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.